Tech Lifestyle. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. What's up, Rec Tech family? Watch this whole video and see if you can spot Rex. If you do, put in the comment section the timestamp that you see him and your favorite dish of the day, and you may win something. Can't do it. Oh, no. I won't do it. Can't do it. Red tag. Lifestyle. Set it. And forget it. Tag lifestyle. Your life, you lie. It's the red lifestyle. What's up, Facebook? And only Facebook. So if any of your friends out there used to watch us on Instagram, Funday Friday is Facebook only from now on. So if you want to see us live, you're in the right spot. Welcome to episode 75. Today is December 28th. It is the last fun day Friday of 2018. 2018 went like that. Um, if you've not checked out our, our recap on our blog, make sure you do so. We had a great year with the Academy, Banjo BQ, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, today we're going to show you how to make some delicious, we're actually going to talk about pimento cheese. We're not giving you the secret behind Miss Jan's pimento cheese. We will talk about it. So, I've never made, Rectech exclusive, I've never made pimento cheese in my life. I made pimento cheese this morning. Um, so that's my mountain of pimento cheese, and then Miss Jan's is right there. And For some reason, hers is just a lot creamier. So, and better. Mm. And better. <laughs> and better. We'll I'm give just, it to you. I'm just but last, stating facts. Last week episode, you missed a great steak-heavy episode. We did filet mignon. We did New York strips. We did twice-baked potatoes. It was a fantastic fun day Friday. Uh, unfortunately, Jody is not with us this week. He is in Orlando at the most happiest place on earth in Disney. So right now, he is at, I think he's at the Animal Kingdom. So if you're at the Animal Kingdom today and you're watching us on Facebook, keep watching. But right after that, look for Jody. You'll see the beard. He's wearing a rec tech hat. I think he said if somebody finds him, he's going to give away a bullseye. Yeah. So mm. if you got to go find Jody, give him a big old hug, run up to him and say, Rec Tech Lifestyle. That's and it. he's going to go live with you on Facebook and, uh, and show you what's going on. So um, today is National Pledge of Allegiance Day. Um, what else we got? Can't see. Sorry. Um, I'm wearing this fancy t-shirt today. This is a great, great t-shirt. So I know everybody's got causes around your community. This young man uh, lives in Aiken, South Carolina. Is, uh, was diagnosed about five or six weeks ago with T-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I'm probably not saying that right. Um, I think our Ben's going to shoot up some links uh, to their page. Take a look. Uh, look at this guy's, this little young man's story. I mean, I, I, I got three kids. I couldn't imagine. Um, but take a look at their site. They got some cool dope t-shirts. So, Huddy Strong, we're thinking about you. Cooked some food for them. Cooked some food for them the other week. And uh, he just mowed down on a big old plate of mac and cheese for breakfast, which is pretty cool. Mm. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to start making some uh, meatloaf. And with me, our mm. special guest star. Sorry. Nope, nope that's me. Have some the, te technical, the, difficulties. technical difficulties. Shook real quick. Hold on. Gimbal down. Uh, well, anyway, with me today is Miss Jan Berg. She is uh, the better half, I'll say the better half, of Killer Bee's Barbecue. Uh, Jim, uh, her husband, is in Arkansas <laughs> duck hunting. But if you've ever been hunting with Jim, you typically do more of the hunting. He does more of the sitting, right? Yeah, kind of. absolutely. Uh, oh, he does more of the cleaning. More of the cleaning? He cleans my deer after I shoot him. That's a good one. I like that. I've never actually shot a deer before, but... Um, oh, it's very, na it's now very exciting. Now I know if I'm going to go hunting, I'll go hunting with, with Jim, and he can, uh, he can clean my animals. Oh, yeah. So here we've got five pounds of ground beef. I'm going to add some, some celery and bell pepper. Now, you had said earlier you add celery and bell pepper as well, but you cook yours first. I do. I actually, I don't put celery in. I just put um, bell pepper. I just put onion actually. Just I don't onion? even put the bell pepper in. I'm not, I'm not a real big bell pepper kind of person. So. Okay. Now I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't cook mine before. One, I'm kind of a little lazy when it comes to meatloaf. I just want to dump and go. But there's a lot of good moisture in there. Yep. And um, so we're gonna add some milk. We're gonna add some heifer dust. And if you're looking for a real great recipe for meatloaf, we did a smokehouse meatloaf a couple uh, months back. Um, we've got our gourmet barbecue sauce here. So skip the ketchup, skip the Worcestershire sauce, 
Just go to town with that. Now, is that the spicy variety? This is just the, this is the gourmet. This is going to okay. be the, the more mild version. Okay. But again, you, if you want a little more heat to it, you can go for it. And I've got some panko breadcrumbs. And again, I'm just cleaning out the pantry. So if you've got stale bread laying around, stale biscuits, you can go ahead and add it in. So, Jan, what's your go-to meal around the house? Oh, wow. We cook a lot of stuff. Um, I don't know. We like chicken on the grill. Chicken on the grill? <laughs> chicken on the grill. Mostly chicken wings. We love chicken wings on the grill. So. You might not know, but... On, uh, on the uh, Rectate Grills. <laughs> Jordan Johnson is a chicken wing aficionado. That's true. He, uh, he crushes some, some chicken. Well, you know, we cook some chicken wings in competition sometimes, um, especially at the Jack at the Jack Daniels. You know, they require us to have dark and white meat turn in, not just dark meat. So um, we always do wings nice. and then thighs. So, um, and you don't want to overwork your meatloaf, but you can see how this is loose, but it's not super wet. I can form it together. It's going to hold its shape. Okay, that's a good looking meatloaf. And to really make it over the top, just let it rest for you know a good half hour or so in the fridge. Let it tighten up, and that way, um, all those flavors kind of mill together. That's really what you're looking for. So we did uh, we did a meatloaf earlier. Let me jump in the fridge and grab that real quick. So you said you guys went to the Jack this year. What other we did. big uh, competitions did you guys go to this year? Well, that was the biggest. We went to. Um, you know, the normal ones that we always go to. We went to Florida a few times. We went and did um, the Sunny's Showdown, which last year was the last year for it. Um, but those are probably the biggest ones biggest that we ones. went to. I know you went to Van Jovic. Oh, yeah, we went to Van Jovic, but that's our hometown. So I'm not going to I'm not going to toot my own horn here, but when we were at Van Jovic, I've never participated in a KCBS barbecue competition ever. I know. Never. So leading up to it, um, I got to thank Jim and Jan. They gave me a lot of pointers in the back of their shed about how to trim stuff, seasonings, marinating. And they made it pretty clear that chefs like me, we don't cut it when it comes to KCBS. But not only did we cut it, we came in second place in pulled pork. He did. I'm going to have to give him a hand for that. <laughs> but, he did very well. <laughs> but I did lose the gumbo cook-off. And I'm still a little upset about that, so we're gonna do some chicken dumplings. You're also today. gonna lose the chicken and dumplings. I'm probably so. Ooh, but just, just letting you know. <laughs> but we went ahead and we, we put our meatloaf in this uh, gallon Ziploc bag, and that way when I take my bacon weave, it's already ready to go. We can put our pimento cheese in here, and that way my portion control is really nice, and I've got nice even, even sides. And get this good and cold. Keep everything good and cold, and that'll make it uh, super easy to, uh, to roll out. And I want to, this episode will air on YouTube every Monday. We have a contest on how you can win some cool Rectech prize packs. I'm not going to talk about that now, but I want to give a huge shout out to Shane Edmonds with a correct time of 24 minutes and 35 seconds. You are, hey, the, you are the winner of a Rectech prize pack. So, Shane, uh, go ahead and shoot an email over to madeline, M A D E L I N E, at rectechgirls.com. Claim your Rectech prize pack, and then um, you got some cool stuff. But we're also still in the 31 days of Matador giveaways. Ooh. 31 Matador giveaways. And I've got my super secret list here. How many are we going to give them, Chef? I think we're going two. Don't, don't, be, don't try to cheat, Country Club. People want to see, man. It's the end yeah, of the year. Want to know. Tasty. So we've got... Oh, I'm gonna. Ooh, this. I'm just gonna apologize right now because this last name I'm probably not gonna get right. So Russell Lear, L E I E R, Russell Lear, Lear. Lear. Hey, Russell. Russell. Woo -hoo! Good job, Russell. Congrats, buddy. And then um, the second winner, the second of seven for today, a uh, gentleman by the name of Chris Kugler, C O O G L E R, Chris Kugler. So make sure hey, to Chris. to claim your your hey, packs. Chris. You got to, to claim your matadors. You got to do nothing. We're gonna shoot you an email, okay? So make sure you check all of your uh, email folders, um, check your spam folder. But gentlemen, congratulations on your matador giveaways. We're gonna be back in about a half an hour, fifteen minutes, twelve o'clock, fifteen minutes. Uh, we'll show you how to wrap up this meatloaf. We're gonna take our homemade chicken stock and turn it into some fantastic chicken and dumplings. And then um, I'm gonna choke down some pimento cheese because mine is not nearly as creamy and delicious as Miss Jan's. 
I'll have to work on that. Yeah. Well. But so you don't miss out on any behind the scenes actions. Jump over to our Twitter page right now. Follow Rex and Jordan as we uh, show you all those fantastic behind the scenes escapades. See you guys at the Rec Tech. Do, Rec Tech. Do, 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 do. Huddy strong. Huddy strong. Huddy strong. Huddy strong. Do do. Do do do. Do do do. Rick Tech lifestyle. Oh, some good champagne there you got me, Greg. It's got a little. Now here's here's a tip about champagne you might not know. Have you ever had a hangover from champagne? No, because I don't really drink champagne, but. I'm Sorry. sure some of your viewers I'm out sure there ha are. might have been overserved for New Year's. So look for a champagne with tiny bubbles. The tinier the bubble, the tinier the headache. That is proven fact. Not even hmm. kidding. So how do you how do you check for tiny bubbles before you buy the champagne? Well, so this is an Osti, so this is a fairly sweeter, um, effervescent Italian wine. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to open it up and see. Buy a couple bottles. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get it started. We got your uh, your chicken stock ready to go. Let's let's doctor yeah. this up. Okay. So when we talk about, can we get that for you? Yep. Thanks. So chicken and dumplings. I'm sure you've made this about a thousand different ways and a thousand different times. I have. Um, now this is homemade stock that Greg cooked for me. I made chicken stock from he scratch. Did. Why? Because he, I'm that guy. Yeah, he is. He's that guy. I don't usually do that. I'm setting her up for the flavor elevator up here. Yeah. Ooh he is. So this is just our stock. And you know, back in the day, you know, I'm telling my age, but back in the day, you know, you could buy a chicken and boil it and it had, it tasted like chicken. Nowadays, it doesn't taste like chicken, it tastes like water. So I have to add a lot of flavor to my chicken and dumplings, to my broth to make it have a really good flavor. Well, you probably flavor. can add a little less flavor because that stock is really good. Well, just okay, well. <laughs> well, yours up front. Um, it's, it's just the stock, so we'll, we'll just see at the end who's is better. <laughs> but that is some cream of chicken soup. Um, you know, when my mom made chicken and dumplings, she definitely did put cream of chicken soup in it. Um, but, you know. So I, I did times hear, change. I did hear, you kind of have a nickname when it comes to chicken and, and dumplings. dumplings. I did. My mama used to call me her little dumpling when I was little. Um, don't know where that came from, but it stuck with me so pretty chicken much my whole life. <laughs> chicken and dumplings, kind of like that that feel good Sunday supper meal that was made a lot of the, at the house growing up. Yeah, it was. But you know, my mama would would buy a whole chicken, and then she would um, she would cut it up, and she would uh, fry the meaty pieces, as she would call it, and then she would boil the bony pieces, and she would make chicken and dumplings with just the bony pieces. Um, nowadays, if you did that, you wouldn't have any flavor at all, but. Um, but that's how she did it, and that's how. So we always had fried chicken and chicken and dumplings on Sunday. It was just our thing in our in our family. That's I'm cool. also going to put some um, bouillon in it, just trying to make the stock taste really. And you can find this at the grocery store. So again, they're, they they come uh, in in like the gel form like this. Stay away from like the the shaker granules because it's really nothing more than salt. Um, and we did we we boiled some. We took all of the uh, chickens. And I had six chickens that we spatchcocked. I took the backbones and the wing tips from about six different chickens, and we went ahead and simmered that for about six hours with uh, some vegetables and a little bit of wine. And again, if you've never spatchcocked a chicken, it gets so super easy. We got recipes on the website. You can shake whatever you want on there. Make sure you season the bottom side of the bird. Beautiful bird to be cooked today. And again, set the set the rectech at 325. And this is how easy this is right here. Slap it on there about 90 minutes to 110 minutes. That bird is going to be perfect. And if you look at this skin for all of these birds we cooked, it is perfectly crisp, rendered. That meat's got great flavor. So again, we're going to layer some great flavor in this chicken and dumpling because it's not just going to be boiled chicken. We've smoked that chicken first, and not that this chicken dumpling is going to take, taste smoky at all. It's really not. But that chicken's already nice and tender, and it's going to be super, super delicious. And that's another thing I've never done is put smoked chicken in my chicken and dumplings. But um, there's a first time a, for everything. First time for everything, and it, I mean, I'm telling y'all, if they were really good, so um, when I was uh, when we were pulling some earlier. So. And the beauty of recipes is make it yours. Exactly. If you don't like bell pepper in your meatloaf, cool, don't add it. If you don't like onions, Harry Doss, cool, don't add them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and roll this. Uh, 
this meatloaf fatty up real quick. Why Miss Jan is putting her secret ingredients in. Uh, That's right. Don't let him look. You want to grab that pimento cheese, Jordan? Absolutely. <laughs> so I've gone ahead and rolled out our bacon weave, and, it, and we've got a video online for that as well. We're going to take our meatloaf mixture and put it right in the middle of that bacon weave. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of smear that out just a little bit. This hand is nice and clean. I'm going to take our pimento cheese and just kind of stick it right there. Yeah, put the, the good pimento cheese right there. But. <laughs> we'll go ahead and smear that pimento cheese around. You can see that's nice and thick. And you know, one thing Jana mentioned earlier, she's got a little bit more mayonnaise in hers, whereas mine's a little thicker. Yeah. And we, we're be saying this one's probably going to do better than the meatloaf because it's not going to run out as much. Absolutely. So let me go ahead and get rid of my glove here. And using plastic wrap, plastic wrap is your friend, people. Okay? What you can do is literally roll this up. Just like that. Boom. Wow. Easy peasy, that lemon was squeezy. Easy peasy. Is that not super simple? It's beautiful too, Greg. I did a great job. <laughs> so what you can do, I've been known to roll a, a meatloaf every now and then. My kids don't like meatloaf, so I loved meatloaf sandwiches growing up. My mom, she were never really cooked. My mom made one of like five things, and meatloaf was one of them. Um, really? You, you, your mom didn't cook, and you became a no. world-renowned chef? See, that's why. It was survival. <laughs> it was it was feast or famine, and I figured uh, we might as well feast. Um, but there she made go. really good meatloaf, and I loved it the next day. Slice it up for a sandwich. Oh, absolutely, with some mayonnaise and cheese on it for me. So I'm going to go ahead and take like our grill mat. Look at this. How, how easy is it to go to the grill now? Look at that. That's fourteen ninety eight. Regtechgrills.com. So here we go. Three hundred degrees. Holy shnikes! I got one in there. This one's been cooking for about an hour. They are in fact uh, non-stick cooking mats. Uh, they last a very long time. You can also wash them in the sink. Uh, they do a great job. We sprinkled a little bit of rosarizzi on top of that. We'll leave that one all natural. But we'll let that go 300. We're looking for an internal temp of about 165 degrees with that ground beef. Um, now it's kind of hard to put a probe in there. Why? Because we have all of that liquid fermented cheese on the inside. It's going to be volcanic. So wait a little while on the probe and then we'll stick a probe in there after everything's kind of firmed up. We're looking to get about 165 We're gonna degrees. We're going to pull that chicken on it. We're going to do it? Yeah, we'll pull the chicken and put it in there. and. Um, that's all the stuff I have to put some flavor in there, so, so we'll let's, just have let's to go a, with this. Let's take a quick peek. So my dumplings, I'm, I'm cheating over here. So I've got mine going in the bullseye because I gotta be different. So Jan's chicken and dumplings is gonna be real creamy, and mine's gonna be, I'll say a little more soupy, and I'll use that as a good way. But we're gonna simmer that along here, and we're gonna take our chicken meat, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull some chicken off the bone. You can look at this chicken. Look how juicy that is. It's unbelievable. And again, we cook these for just... And it's just already got to room temperature, so it's... To be just this juicy under, after room uh, temperature is really good. Just under two hours, all that meat has relaxed. Yeah, it's, it's really good. And again, you can take... This is a great way to meal prep, guys. So if you're doing a couple chickens at the house, do a couple more. You can take this, pull this off, and you can make chicken salad, add some mayonnaise, cranberries, celery in here. It's going to be really good. you like big pieces of chicken or small pieces? It doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter. So I just take that whole thing and just drop it you, in. Oh uh, well, maybe <laughs> would not that be quite sabotage? That big. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> so when you guys are on the road for uh, the barbecue events, what kind of things are you guys doing for dinner? With uh, well, we go out to dinner and we have you know, um, we'll do um, where all the teams get together and bring something like a potluck. And um, I've made my chicken and dumplings several times at competitions, and they're usually. You know, none left. Absolutely nothing. They're like licking the bowl. Hmm. But like I said, today is um, Greg made my stock for me, and you know, with him being the chef that he is, um, I got to give her the upper hand. <laughs> got to give her the upper hand. <laughs> he um, he put some stuff in his stock that I don't normally put in mine. Um, but that's just you know, got to be different. Got to be different. Got to be different. You know, he puts you know some carrots and onions and celery and um, some herbs and all this kind of stuff so the chicken broth you know of course takes on those flavors so um so so this chicken broth does taste a little different than what i would normally cook but it's going to be it's going to be a good different so we've <laughs> got a lot of 
new RecTech family members out there that maybe just got grills for, for Christmas, uh, maybe some are you know still waiting for them to be delivered, and they're not used to cooking you know world class barbecue briskets, ribs, pork butts. If you could give one piece of advice to all those people that just got grills for the holidays, what would what would be that uh, that that nugget of information to really take their backyard barbecue to the next level? Um, well, we believe in low and slow. Um, there's a lot of people that cook hot and fast, and it does very well. But um, I would say low and slow. Cook it, you know, for a long time at 225 degrees. And you get the best grill out there because you can cook low and slow That's and be right. in your bed sleeping like a baby. Or, and or, in a, or, and if you needed to crank it up, you can do that too on the Rectex. <laughs> Super cool. Well, we'll be back in about 15 minutes. Miss Jan and I are going to keep pulling some chicken off of here. We're going to get this delicious uh, vat of chicken and dumplings up to a simmer, and we uh, will add our dumplings here in a little bit. But we will see you guys in about 15 minutes. And so you don't miss any of that behind the scenes action. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. And don't forget, guys, Huddy Strong. Check it out. Huddy Strong. Do, do, do. Rick Tick Lifestyle. Sit it and forget it. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rick Tick Lifestyle. Sit it. Yeah, right, do a cheer with me. So is that oh, is that the RecTech lifestyle? I get to cook and you drink wine? Oh, um, well, we'll see. I don't mind. <laughs> we'll I see. do not mind. <clears throat> well, that's okay. So unfortunately, Jim could not be with us today because he is yeah, duck is hunting yeah. in Arkansas. Arkansas? Arkansas. Arkansas. With some, uh, some good barbecue buddies. He's out there with what? Heath Riles? Heath Riles and um, his brother and his son and um, his cousin who came um, for the first time and then some, you know, other people that just come to the duck camp because they come because Jim and Heath are going to cook and um, that week books up pretty fast because you know, the pitmasters are there to cook. <laughs> well, Heath's going to do a lot of cooking and if you know Jim, he's probably do a lot of talking. Well, yeah. I'm sure Jim's got some good stories around there too. Yeah, he does. Good dude, good dude. He'll do it in a rush. So you want to show him what you, uh, what you got in the, uh, the pot over there, how that looks? Sure, mm. absolutely. So Jan mm. said earlier she has never cooked on a Mad before. Yeah, I haven't. We don't, we don't, we don't have one. So the beauty of the Matador, unlike mm. any other product in our lineup, is it runs off propane. You can run it off a 20 pound tank or a three pound tank. It comes with a free adapter hose, a windscreen. And we are making chicken and dumplings. That'll probably feed, what do you think, after we fill this up, a good, a lot. <laughs> 20, 20, 25 people? What's the price point? Yeah, you wanna that, drop right? those in there? And sure. I'll keep, yeah, keep pulling absolutely. them up. So this is $1.99 shipped to your door. $1.99 Ooh. shipped to your door. And is that, Ooh, that's is that the deal of the century. It is shipped for free. It is absolutely shipped for free. So for $199, that thing right there is gonna show up to your house. Uh, if you want some cool uh, tools with it, the lid like you see uh, us have, if you go on our website up under the staff picks, not only are you going to see uh, the lid, the walk tools, you're also going to find some pretty cool stuff that we use here at RecTech Worldwide Headquarters. Some injectors and knives and all sorts of fun stuff. Why not, um, why not give four away? Right. Four matadors? Let's give four matadors what? away. Mm. Right. Man, mm. and I was really hoping to string people on a little bit oh, longer. We got two left, baby. Is that, is that, is that, oh. Shake it out. Mm. Come on, Greg. Don't tease us, man. Don't tease us. Huddy strong. Huddy strong. All right, so the third winner this week is Mr. John Corbett. Woo! Oh, boy, John. Woo! Way to go, John. Way to go, John. The fourth winner, fourth winner this week, um, it's going to be Jamie Ward. Jamie. Jamie Ward. Right on. That's J A Y M E. Jamie Ward. All right. The fifth winner this week, it's going to be Kevin Blancets. Kevin. Woo! Good job, Kevin. Boy, Kevin. We going to save the last two for the last segment? Let's save one for the last second. Let's go ahead and give them something. Well, this is a lovely name. Ooh. Lovely name. Brandon Lovering. Woo! Brandon. Good job, Brandon. So if you guys, to claim your prizes, you don't have to do anything but check your email. Make sure you check your spam folders, your junk folders. 
uh, be expecting an email from us. It'll tell you how to claim your prize. So we're getting the dumplings in here. We're getting the dumplings how in. How long do these need to simmer for? Um, they take a good little while. Um, you know, About 20 be a, minutes or so? I would say probably at least 30, maybe even 40 minutes to get them good and tender and, you know, to the consistency you really want them. And again, we've got that matador set on low. We've got a nice simmer in the middle here. Yep. Nothing sticking to the bottom. Nothing. And we will be able to fill this up with about 48 ounces of dumplings, which would be about three packs. And that's going to be enough to feed easy 25, 25 people. So if you got a great, you know, hunt club that you're trying to cook some stuff for, check it out. Absolutely. Now, I don't think Jim and, and Heath are cooking stuff this good. Uh, no. No. You know. No. They'll be doing, you know, briskets and ribs and... Just briskets and just ribs. We yeah. got chicken and dumplings and meatloaf and fatties. Check out this meatloaf. We had, a, we had a little explosion out the back, but that's okay. We've got our nonstick grill mat helping us out. Look at that. Look at that. That's looking good. But again, we've got that grill mat there keeping it in place. And that fermented cheese will get nice and thick and we'll be able to scrape it off. And then we've got, that'll be my favorite part too. There you go. We've got that spatchcock chicken again. 325, we'll let that go for about 90 to 110 minutes or so, and turn up at 165 degrees. But you got that set on there, Greg? It's set at 325, we're running. Mm. And then the best dumplings, it's over here. We've got that matador in this bullseye. You heard that right. Now I've got this set on about half right here. And I've got this thing, look at it. Look how nice that is. Again, nothing sticking. And I'm actually getting a nice smoke flavor in this because there's about an eighth of an inch gap all the way around that pan. And I'm getting some good wood smoke flavor into this dumplings. So this is my secret weapon. So I gave Jan some delicious chicken stock and I figured I'd take a cheat and stick mine over here on the bullseye. I love it. But again, a matador, what are, we, what are we shushing over here? Is there? Are you exchanging secrets with our media team? Yeah, well, I just was told that my pimento cheese just looks better than yours. So, I mean, you know, I'm just... I can't eating. deny that. My pimento cheese does not look nearly as but, creamy you know, and flavorless like This was like the Jan's. first time he's ever <laughs> made pimento cheese. So. I didn't. It might be like a... I may be able to do one thing better than him. It might oh, be no, a... excuse me, two. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, three. Oh, oh. Three. <laughs> How's that feel, chef? <laughs> so... I've never made pimento cheese this morning. Never did it before. This morning was the first time. We kind of just emptied out the fridge. We put some Rossaruskis in there. We had some sour cream lying around. I don't know if you put sour cream in pimento cheese, but we did. I don't know. Is that a thing? Probably not. I've never seen that before, but I mean, your pimento cheese is very good. I mean, it really is. It's so, different, but it's good. It's different. I don't know if we can classify it as pimento cheese. They might have to call it a cheddar cheese spread. No, I don't it's know. It's got pimentos in it. That makes it pimento cheese. Pimento cheese. <laughs> I don't know. We're proud of it. We put our Rectech foot in it. It's good. It's if you guys good. are looking for some cool hats, we've got these fantastic 110 hats back in stock. Mm. Camo. These hats are awesome. They won't see you coming. Won't see you coming. Build at <laughs> RectechGirls.com. So while you're picking up a matador, grab a hat. Got a good hat. So again, you got to simmer this, you said, for about 30 minutes or so? At least, yeah. At least. You know, these are, these are some pretty thick dumplings, so you've got to get them good and done and um, so they're not doughy and yucky in the middle. So. There you go. And then we're going to finish this off with some cream. So my, my chicken and dumplings will be creamy, where his is more brothy. I don't know. Is you that a word? You <laughs> haven't seen my chicken and dumplings in a quick minute. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just saying. I think... Uh, I went over there and looked at them earlier when you weren't around. So what you're saying is you messed with my dumplings. No, I just opened the, the, the grill and looked at them. I just touched them. Again... Her pan sitting on the matador base. My pan is sitting in the bullseye because that's how we roll around here. It's all about having fun. It's all about cooking with your friends. I got Miss Jan Berg here with me from Killer Bee's Barbecue, and we are throwing down some pimento cheese stuffed meatloaf, some chicken and dumplings. So coming up in our last segment of Fun Day Friday for 2018. It is the last Fun Day Friday for 2018. Jody, I hope you're having a great time at Disney. If you guys are in Orlando, right now I saw him, he put, he put a post up on Facebook. He's at the Magic Kingdom, I oh, think. Oh, there you go. I think that's where he is. If 
you see Jody, big beard, red tech hat, just run up, give him a big hug. You might win yourself a bullseye. <laughs> what are they saying, country? Uh, people talking about the chicken dumplings looking good. It's looking good. It smells yeah. good. I'm getting like a dumpling facial right now, kind of mm -hmm. downwind. It smells really good. Our moderator's posting up all the recipes, so you guys can check those out. We've got an, another, what, two winners for the Matadors? One more winner. One more winner for the Matador. We've got the, we've got what y'all been waiting for. Woo. The Grand Champion Giveaway. The RT700 Ooh. Bowl coming up next. Oh, wow. More can importantly, I put my name in the hat? More <laughs> important. Well, you've already would have had to have done that. Oh, okay, I see. But more importantly in that giveaway, we're going to see whose dumplings are better. We're going to see whose minute cheese is better. Mm. We'll see you guys at the Rec Tech. Make sure you follow us on Twitter right now to see all of those behind-the-scenes actions as we finish yeah, our dumplings. Yeah, yeah. Come back because... These are the winners. <laughs> do, 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 do. Rick Tank Lifestyle. Ooh, get you a hat. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, do, do. do. Rick Tank Lifestyle. If you've not checked out our fantastic nitrile gloves available at rectechgirls.com, $9.98 shipped to you guys. There's about 100 gloves in here, both large and extra large. These are thick 5.5 mil gloves. Keep your hands clean mm. and off the food. <laughs> That's a fun fact for you. When they clap in movies behind the scenes, they wear gloves. They better get a better clap. <laughs> True. Hey, I remember that one. We want to uh, slice into this fatty? Yeah, that's what they're using. Right? <laughs> All right, so let's recap. We made a delicious meatloaf. We stuffed this with pimento cheese, my pimento cheese. I don't yet know whether it's award-winning pimento cheese. It's pretty good, but it's not Jamberg's pimento cheese. I'll just okay. I'll just throw that one out there. Well, pimento yeah. cheese is pretty darn good. <laughs> I, I'll teach you a few things, Greg. But we've got our <laughs> chicken and dumpling battle. We smoked off about uh, five... Six and a half pound of chickens. I added some carrots, onions, and celery in my dumplings. And then uh, Miss Jan's here. Look how creamy this is. I know. Might have, like, might have creamier. Look how amazing that looks. Real coarse black pepper in there. Right. Yeah. Smells good. And again, we cookies on the matador. We finished mine off on the bullseye. Again, that's a 22 inch pan. Fits right into the bullseye. And Miss Jan cooked hers on the matador the entire time over low. If you're looking for that stock pot lid, check out our staff picks on the website. What do you think we, we slice into this? Absolutely. It looks delicious. It's good. We did uh, our bacon weaves. So if you're curious how to do that, check out our video up on YouTube. We sprinkle just a little bit of the Rossaruski's honey rib rub over the top. Look at that. little pimento cheese in there. And a lot of it, some of it leaked out on the uh, grill mat, but no worries. We scooped it up with chips. Here it comes. Here it comes. There was no, no harm pimento, pimento cheese. You try a bite? Is that too big of a bite? Smaller bite? For me? Yeah. Yeah, that's a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'll take this one. Mm, it smells good. No cheers? Cheers. cheers. Mm, no. Very good. <laughs> she almost had me there for a minute. <laughs> I put it in my mouth and I'm like, that's pretty darn good. Uh, very good. Mm. Very tasty. You get the sweetness of that pimento in there. The cheese. It'd be good with a sauce. Mm -hmm. Make a, a, brown, a brown sugar sauce to go over it. Now, I was taken to school earlier. Now, when you have meatloaf, you have mashed potatoes. So, Absolutely. strike one, uh, my southern meal fail for the day. <laughs> Next time I make meatloaf, I guarantee I'll have gravy and mashed potatoes. But, mm, mm, it is good. It's very good. So, we have an un... It did good, Greg. Let's bring in an unbiased judge because I know my dumplings are pretty good. And I know your dumplings are really good. So, no, I'm going to introduce good. our sales manager, Matt Lane. Matt, come join us, buddy. Matt Lane. So, bowl right. number one. Bowl number one. Bowl number one. All right. Should I look or not look? I mean, I would look so you don't you know, burn yourself. Yeah, it's going to be, they're pretty hot. So. Pretty hot. So, Matt Lane is also our sous chef here at Rec Tech World Worldwide Headquarters. He knows food. I know he food. He knows food. Oh, 
All right. That sauce is really tasty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you need to wash the, your palate out, get that fat taste out? <clears throat> no. <laughs> I think I'm good. All right, that was a little, a little hot. Well, it was yours. Same you know, spoon? Was it a bad taste? No, you can use spoon. <laughs> Same spoon. Yeah, everybody. So what do you think on that one? Good, good chicken? Good, uh, good consistency. Really like that. Uh, flavor has some pepper in it, not too much, which I always like. That was good. That was pretty good. So that one has a more smoky flavor to it. And I have to choose? I mean, if, yeah, probably. One or two. One or two. Bowl one or bowl two. I gotta go back in. <laughs> so Matt Lane is also the hot dog eating world champion around here at Red Tech Grills. He knows a good thing, whether it's wrapped in a bun or served in a bowl. I really like them both. This one, I like the thickness of this one. It's really good. I really like the smoky flavor of this one. So, whatever that means. Yay! That would be so, Greg's. Oh. <laughs> that would be Greg. Greg's. Greg. That's the W. You know, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know why these dumplings were that good? Putty Strong. That's Putty right. Strong. Putty Strong. So we put this on the bullseye for about 45 minutes on look, right? That smoke just billowed in that bullseye and flavored all of this into really delicious, smoky jus. And it's not overly smoky, just a nice little, a nice little flavor. You want to you try? Well, I'll, I'll, well, try, I'll, I'll try, try the I'll, I'll try the winner, and I'll, you can try the loser. There you go. I'll try. <laughs> So now we're one for one because I embarrassingly got destroyed at the gumbo battle at Banjo BQ. Although if you read my blog, it was a lot closer than that. It really wasn't. <laughs> you know what that means? We got to do a rubber match soon. Mm. The tiebreaker. Mm. I definitely like the sauce on that. And yours is very tasty too. It's almost nice and chickeny. So we got to break this tie. I know. How are we going to break this tie? Come this way. Come mm. this way. Oh. Well, Pimento yeah. cheese is how we're going to break this tie. And. There's few things in life I know, and I know if you buy pimento cheese, you have to buy at least 10 pounds when you bring it here, because all of our staff, including our fabulous general manager, Ben Lashaft, crush some pimento cheese. So again, we gotta have a non-biased judge here. We gotta bring in our GM, Ben, to, uh, to see which one's going, going over the top. Boom, 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 oh, there boom, he is. boom. Pimento cheese time? I think it's pimento, pimento cheese time. time. All right, so anybody who knows me knows that I love pimento cheese. Like it's, if you, if you ever come to Augusta and go to the Masters, pimento cheese sandwich is a must have. And you gotta eat about 12 of them? At least, yeah. They're only like $2. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the cheapest sandwich bucks. you can buy. <laughs> but the thing is, you gotta go pimento cheese, beer, pimento cheese, beer. You get on that steady rotation. You're good to go. Yeah, it's great. All day long. Yeah. Yeah. You can drink your 12 beers and eat your 12 sandwiches. Yeah, I mean, you, it's every nutrient you could imagine. And unique. you've only spent like $40. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, so I'm, I'm trying this. Yeah. You chips, go. bread, what do you want me to do? I, I think you whatever. Chips or crackers? Whatever your, uh, I'm, I'm whatever your jam is. Whose is this one? I can't tell you that. Oh, yeah. Let's test it. It's pretty good. Pretty good. This one's a little creamier. A little softer on the chip. Yeah. Ooh. That second one's tough to beat. I gotta go number two. I, I would, I'm gonna have to go number two. I'm I, going with number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd have and the pimento cheese queen wins again. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what toe you stirred this with, but that oh. is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Like there's something That's about that pimento cheese that you really can't, unless you've had it, and if you've had Jan's pimento cheese out there, go ahead and chime in because there's something about that pimento cheese. That's really good. Like elves <laughs> made this cheese. Like there's something about that. And there's more than just cheese and mayonnaise and pimentos. There's something in there because That's really good, Jan. <laughs> Thank you. I made mine. First time I've ever had. I made mine a little like a little it? thick. Um, good lord. So <laughs> that might be a pimento cheese. But you could build a house with this pimento yeah, cheese. Yeah, that's the mortar. <laughs> um, <laughs> Miss Jams is nice, and this is and hers is straight out of the fridge. We just refilled this bowl for the forty second time. Um, yeah, they wanted the big bowl up against the little baby bowl. But you know. and check out our stories because we don't have a big bowl around here, so we actually made twelve pounds of pimento cheese. We mixed it in the matador. 
can't take much all kinds of quizzes. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, yeah. well, I make it all the time for competitions. Yeah. Um, people order it, and, you know, I, I sell 40, 50, 60 pounds of it at a competition. So, speaking so of, I, I make a lot at a time sometimes. Speaking of awesome and amazing, we've got one more Matador giveaway for you guys. So our last winner for this week, and there's going to be more next week, but it is going to be Ryan Hoffart. Hoffart? 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 Hoffart. Hoffart. So, Hoffart. I probably said your first and last name completely wrong. I got the Ryan. 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 There you go, Ryan. But, check your email, because we will send you an email, and it shows you how to claim that prize if you don't see anything there, and your name somewhat resembles Ryan Hoffart, Hoffart, something like that. Um, it's right here. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There's the name. Well, can we not show them all of them? Or are those okay. just uh, yeah, all Matador winners? All Matador winners. To you guys. There you go, Fantastic. guys. Fantastic. Check your email. You will uh, see how to claim your prize. But I think we had a bigger prize we did. to give away. We Ooh. teased it last week. Are we actually going to announce it this week, or are we just going to tease them again? I think that'd be awesome to keep it going, but I'm sure people are going to get kind of upset. <laughs> it's, cruel. it's cruel and unusual punishment. We do have a winner for the Grand Champion Bundle. Ooh. And the winner... Hope you're watching. Is Ben Quast. Ben Quast. Ben. Thanks for waiting an extra week to find out that you won. Sorry to tease everybody else like that. I think it was worth it. Hey, you got to build up a little bit. You got to build some suspense. I had a guy calling yesterday. Did I win? Did I win? You have to watch Monday Friday right now. But and he's got to check his sales. email, correct? Do what, buddy? He's got to check his email, correct? You got to check your email, yeah, because email. no email. So. Ben, you got to email Madeline, M A D E L I N E, at rectechrules.com. Madeline will get you squared away, get that bowl grand champion bundle sent yep. off to you, wherever you live. Hopefully, uh, you get with us, we'll get with you. Somehow or another, we'll figure it out. You'll get a grill, and it's going to be an amazing grill. Ben, right. you got some other announcements, do you not? I do. Oh, sir. What are we what? 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 All right, so we've got some other cool stuff going on. We figured, in the whole spirit of Happy New Year, uh, we'll kind of go over some of the stuff we want to do for 2019. Um, some of you may know about a trailer that we have been developing. Uh, it's probably the worst kept secret in Facebook history. Because <laughs> everybody that comes here takes pictures with it? Yeah, 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 yeah. pretty much. And, uh, but there's also another uh, grill that East Georgia Metals is working on as well. Uh, and then we have two more new grills that we will be unveiling all four of these officially Ooh. on February 1st. Wow. So you've got first. So that's four, Woo. four things. Five weeks, four things. You got five weeks to wait. We've got four things coming out. Mm. The marketing team's gonna get beat up a little bit in January. They got some work to do. So. And here's okay. I'm just gonna let, let the cat out of the bag. Don't email us. Don't don't text us. We're not gonna tell you what it is. Okay. Yeah. I might well, be friends with you. <clears throat> I'm still not gonna tell you. We'll tell you that one of them's a trailer. One of them's a trailer. One of them's Once a trailer. again, worst kept secret ever. Pretty much. <laughs> but it's a good secret. Yeah. Additionally, we have some financing things that will be coming up in 2019, so you have additional options in addition to PayPal and Amazon. We have some financing things we'll be putting on our website in 2019, so you'll have multiple ways to purchase said new four products. Said new four products, and or Grand Champion Bull Bundles, Matadors, all sorts of stuff. You want it, you can finance it, assuming you get approved. My mind is blown right now. Subject to approval, is that what they have to say? This Monday Friday has been a jam, Miss Jam. It's been a jam. That was bad. That was a joke. <laughs> that was no, not. That was a little bit. It's been a jam. That was a Miss Jam. Mm. I tried. Sorry. Sorry, man. Jody, I, I am not. I can't but I'm sure he's got nicer weather down in Orlando than we have here in Augusta. It is raining outside. If you see Jody. Has anybody found Jody? No, no one's found him yet. How's nobody found Jody? Somebody, please, go to the Magic the... Kingdom. Find your... I think your... he was at the Hall of Presidents last The he's Hall of Presidents? He's got the biggest beard in the park. How are you going to miss him? He's wearing a Rec Tech <laughs> hat. He said he's got a villain shirt on. Find the guy. Go... Just give him a big old hug because you're going to win a bullseye. That's right. I know when he was in, in Hilton Head over the summer, people failed. No one found him. What if we drove down there and found him? Road trip. Go. I'm down. Road trip. Road trip. <laughs> Road trip. Right. Now, the weather's got to be better than what we got. I want to thank you for hanging here. out with me you today. You guys wrap it up. Thank you. Um, I, I'm going to kind of say, I know Matt Lane's taste buds are pretty, pretty good. I think you kind of got me on the dumplings, too. No, I don't think so. I think you kind of got me on the dumplings. You, you, it was your broth. There you go. See, oh. I, I helped make this second place, <laughs> chicken and dumplings. But anyway, it's been a great Fun Day Friday. This has been episode 75. This is our last Fun Day Friday of the year. Uh, make sure you follow us in the new year as well. Every Monday we do Mail Day Monday. 
Uh, if you want to see a lot of the fun stuff we're doing, check that out. We do. Um, you're pointing at it. There we go. Monday, Friday, teas. So we do. Of course, on Wednesdays. That's right. So check us out. Make sure you follow us Mel Day Monday, every Monday about 4 o'clock Eastern Time on Facebook. Wednesdays I go to the grocery store, you get a teaser to see what we're going to do on Fun Day Fridays. Every Thursday on Reddit we discuss a new recipe and or have great smoking and grilling conversation on Reddit. Um, we have a, are we still doing a caption this on Tuesdays? Uh, we're we're going to start that back up. In the we're going to start that back up. Um, and then every Friday is Fun Day Friday. And if you want to get some behind the scenes stuff, maybe if you want to learn some of the details that Ben just dropped, like the trailer, another grill, two other grills, financing. If you want to know those details, make sure you go to our website, rectechgrills.com. Go all the way to the bottom where it says be an insider. Put your email in there. Uh, make sure you check the box to receive notifications from us because you don't want to miss out on that. Um, I'm, my name is Greg Muller. I'm your director of culinary innovation today. I'm Huddy Strong, so make sure to check them out on, on Facebook. Support any of your local um, you know, charities and or... Um, just stuff going on in, in your communities. Support your friends and neighbors. Cook them some good food on a rec tech. We'll see you guys next year, 2019, bringing it in. Happy New Year. Woo! Happy New Year. Shouts out to Jim. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. do. Good luck, Jim. Get some ducks. We cook some ducks next week. <laughs> Do, 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 do